GE is a global technology company. At GE Power Conversion, we are GE's specialists in electrification and energy management. It was important for GE to partner with a busy container port, especially one with a clear decarbonisation programme that will allow us to study feasibility of implementing clean and smart ports. Collaboration is vital for us to achieve our aim of being carbon neutral by 2027. The likes of GE who have come on board to help and assist us. We have plenty of different assets which all hold data um, which can include anything from energy usage. What GE essentially will do is we'll take that data on board, will help us analyse it, which in sense will ultimately come to a, an end product of where we can manage our energy utilisation, help us reduce it in the future and become a more efficient part in terms of energy usage. This seven month project will de-risk the future creation of a full digital twin of the port's electrical infrastructure through data modelling by GE in collaboration with Teesside University referred to as vertically integrated cloud-based ports or VIC ports for short. This digital model will help PD ports make strategic energy management decisions, but VIC will also consider how ports might, for example, integrate shore power in response to growing demand from ship operators to plug into electric power so they can switch off their engines. VIC ports will assist ports such as T-Sport to deploy their own strategy for achieving net zero status and at the same time plan for future adoption of clean power sources and technologies while reducing costs. The project will obviously start here and they'll be on a trial basis. We'll try to implement it as best as we can until we come to a, a model if you like where it's working and it's been proven to be uh, providing clean energy for PD ports. The Clean Maritime Demonstration Competition and the funding from the DFT will enable us to work in a consortium and that will accelerate the deployment of VIC for ports to enable clean technologies.